The replica watch market is a huge world. And it's not just for watches, but for counterfeit goods of nearly all the luxury items. I'm not an expert on fake goods, nor do I endorse them. They are usually cheap and range in qualities such as grade A replica will be almost identical to the real item. Now I have two watches here. One is a real Explorer 2, reference number 216570. The second watch is a complete replica. Now, judging from the start, it may be hard to tell which one is fake if you're not familiar with watches. But the thing with replica watchmakers is that they don't pay attention to detail. If you look at any replica watch up close or from a macro point of scale, you will notice tremendous amount of mistakes and imperfections as expected. If you have just tuned in, I am the local watch guy and I have been collecting watches since 2018 and I consider myself a watch enthusiast. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon as it really helps the channel grow out by a lot. And if you want to see anything specific, do let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's start spotting the mistakes on the fake Explorer 2. Now it can get confusing on which one is real and which one isn't. Now I don't know how good of a fake this is. I bought one for $71 purely to make this video for educational purposes only. Replica watches are cheap and cheap for a reason. They are made to look exactly like the original thing and 98% of the time they fail to do so. Could they also be manufactured to wear and feel like the real thing? I actually haven't even tried the replica one and don't plan on trying it on my wrist anytime soon. Placing the original Rolex Explorer 2 on the scale, you'll see that it weighs 156 grams. Now if we go ahead and place the replica version, you'll see that it weighs 148 grams. Almost 8 grams of a difference in weight. Secondly, you'll notice how on the bezel, it almost seems as if they carved the number, as opposed to the real one where the font isn't bold. And if you look closely, you'll see the imperfection on the 24 hour mark and the paint is completely not up to par. Thirdly, and this is an obvious one, it's that the brushed steel finish on the real bracelet is absolutely perfect. However, on the replica version, I'm not even sure if they bothered to polish it. And obviously, within time, this would probably discolor or even rust. There's no high hopes on the replica bracelets. Fourth point is the crown. The real Rolex has the crown logo stamped on the crown and occupies all the space. However, the fake one is way smaller. There's a green sticker on the case back, and I haven't taken it off, just so I don't accidentally put the fake one in the safe, and that will be a nightmare for me. In terms of the oyster clasp, I couldn't see much of a difference between the crown logo. So that's one point for the replica, which you can notice the brushing is completely off and actually leaves marks whenever you touch the watch. Let's talk about the loom. It's completely obvious here which one is real. The one on the right is way brighter, lasts longer, and has a nicer touch of blue light to it, and just makes the watch way cooler. The loom on the replica is not bad. I have definitely seen worse from very little to no loom, but the fake Explorer 2 seems to have a darker shade of blue, and it doesn't even last that long in the dark. It's pretty obvious that the replica in this video is a bad replica. And in terms of movement and power reserve, I have no idea what's inside the case back. However, the real Explorer 2 is equipped with an automatic movement, caliber 3187, with a power reserve of 48 hours. I'm guessing the power reserve for the fake one is way less. 
I probably will stop working within a month or less. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I don't recommend or endorse wearing or buying any replica watch whatsoever, simply because it's not the real thing. The art of watchmaking has been going on for centuries, and the craft of watchmaking deserves to be respected. It's better to wear a cheaply priced watch instead of a watch replicating a real expensive timepiece. Now, regardless of my advice, in reality, you are free to wear what you want and whatever makes you happy. If you have enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more content in the future.